NVIDIA is worth more than all of the pharmaceutical companies of the world. There's one company, and there's also 10 others. The world is determined by technology. It's the tech companies who tell us the future. And is their future honest? Well, they try. But if you have a choice of making 5 trillion or making 500 billion, what choices do you make? These are practical choices, temptations. Very soon, OpenAI will go on the stock market. It will be the biggest initial public offering ever in the history of all stock markets. At least 1 trillion. Some people say the stock market valuation of OpenAI will be $3 trillion post IPO, like NVIDIA. And that is scary to us in Europe because we're so dependent on the American stock exchange. The Swiss National Bank, I live in Zurich, has 35% of their money in US tech stocks. And we're all like, totally connected. We're actually dependent on the stock market to do well. And now, who has the power to shape our future? OpenAI <clears throat> is shaping up to be the most powerful company in the world. And you could say, lousy incentives, lousy outcome. What is their incentive? To build general intelligence, not AI like IBM or SAP or Salesforce, but to build digital humans. They want to rebuild what we are. They want to build an AI that is smarter in all applicable sectors than humans, like an AI with 100,000 PhDs, artificial general intelligence. If you want to read a book about this, you should read this book, the most popular book at this very moment, about general intelligence. If anyone builds it, everyone dies. It's a very good way to start a Monday. Here's the key question. Can we trust them? Sam looks like a nice chap. The guy from the video, Jensen Wong, he looks hip, very hip, with leather jacket. Elon Musk, he talks, he has robots. Peter Thiel, Mark Andreessen, the investor, and a good old friend, Zuckerberg. Can we trust these people? Well, I have to think about that, but this is a very big question. What is their motivation? And they're not evil people. I met many of them. They're not evil people. But what is their motivation?